What's up, Stride fam? This is Coach Paul from our San Diego location. Today, I have a great heart pumping strength and conditioning workout for you guys, and it's gonna be a HIT, also known as high intensity interval training. But the type of HIT that we're gonna be doing is called a Tabata. Okay, so for today's workout, we actually picked it up a notch. So check it out. I have five sets for you guys. After I explain the exercises, I'm gonna demo it for you guys so you guys can see. The only equipment you're gonna need today is gonna be a chair. Uh, they're gonna be for tricep dips and toe touches. Uh, if you don't have a chair, a bench or your couch will be fine, okay? So, set number one, we have push-ups. The second exercise in this series is gonna be mountain climbers. So we're gonna alternate between the two. Four minutes of work. After that, we got one minute break and then we go on to set number two. Set number two is gonna be air squats, jumping lunges, Set number three, we got burpees, lateral skaters. Set number four, we got tricep dips and toe to, uh, chair toe touches. Set number five, we got V-ups and bicycle crunches. All right guys, I'm gonna demo what each exercise looks like in every set, so here we go. Set number one, we have push-ups and mountain climbers. So you need to get into a push-up position. Palms directly on your shoulders, core tight, don't let your hips set. From here, you tuck your elbows in, and perform a push-up. Just make sure you're not giving me the room, core tight, make sure your body moves together, up together. We're gonna work for 20 seconds, you'll rest for 10. Right after that, you'll jump into mountain climbers. You're gonna stay in that same position. Palms under your shoulders, knee past the hip crease. Core tight, and you're moving. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, you're going back to the push-ups, repeat, four minutes, okay? Uh, our next set, we have air squats and jumping lunges. We wanna make sure for the squats, hinge your back, sitting on those heels, drop those hinges into the ground, squeeze those glutes at the top. Sitting back, good form, make sure you're not slouching over. Then we're gonna jump into jumping lunges. You're going to get into a lunge position. So from here, jump straight up, explode, soft land, core tight, make sure we're not leaning forward. All right. Next one, we have set number three, we have burpees. So from here, you're gonna jump up, clap at the top, give me a push up at the bottom. So, clap, drop, one push up, clap. Right after that, you're gonna jump into lateral skater. So if I'm facing you guys, I'm gonna start on one side, I'm gonna bow to my left side, control my landing, and lateral jump side to side. Make sure I have full control of my body, okay? Set number four, tricep dips. Facing away from the chair, I'll have my palms on the, at the edge. Core tight, chest tall. I'm gonna make sure my elbows go straight back. The back of my back or back of my spine gliding along the base of the chair. Deep breaths in, deep breath out. Squeezing those triceps at the top. Right after that, you're gonna turn around. Chair toe touches, keep one foot on the chair. From here, soft knees, alternate. Like so. Next one is gonna be via and bicycle kicks. So, you're gonna lay on the ground, hands and legs spread out, you're gonna be at the top, and back down. Right after that, our sexy exercise, both hands behind your head. One knee up, you're gonna touch your elbow to each knee. And one. So, there you have it. That's how you do the exercises. I'm to get, about to get my workout in and I'll give you guys a recap of how that felt. All right, guys, there you go. I just completed the Tabata Thursday workout. And look, I am drenched in sweat. I feel amazing. And the most important thing is, with a busy schedule, with a limited amount of space and zero to no equipment at all, I was able to knock out a great total body workout within only 30 minutes. And guys, for anyone that says they don't have enough time, they don't have any equipment, there's absolutely no excuses. Um, 
But in conclusion, high intensity interval training has a high impact on both aerobic and anaerobic systems. It'll help you out cardiovascularly, it'll help your endurance, it'll help your breathing, it'll help your conditioning. In the same sense, it'll help you also maintain, if not gain some lean mass. So guys, I just knocked out mine, it's your turn. Comment below what was the most challenging exercise for you in that series, and for me, it was those VS. But you know what? No matter how tough it was, I finished it. I started strong, I finished strong, and that's what Stride's all about. So, looking to hear your feedback, and have fun.